All right, ready to dive into some serious investing wisdom. Let's do it. We've got some Benjamin Graham to unpack today, the OG of value investing. Yeah, you know, I'm a big fan of going deep on this stuff. So we've got some excerpts from his writings, right? Yep. And we're going to try to pull out those golden nuggets, you know, the stuff that can actually help people make smarter money moves. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Because like everyone knows Graham's name, right? Everyone knows he was like Warren Buffett's mentor. But I feel like sometimes people just kind of get stuck at that surface level. Totally agree. You got to go deeper. All right. Well, how about we kick things off with one of his most iconic ideas? You thinking about the market as a voting machine versus a weighing machine. That's the one. Such a good analogy. <laughs> right. In the short term, the market can be totally irrational, driven by like, emotions and speculation oh yeah people just voting for their favorite stocks exactly like a popularity contest that's the voting machine got it so how do we shift gears to the weighing machine side of things how can i find those hidden gems where the market is totally missing a company's real worth that's where intrinsic value comes in ah uh, yes classic Graham. Right. He was all about looking beyond the stock price. He'd say, okay, what's this company actually worth? You got to dig into their financials, their business model, you know, what makes them tick. So it's like being a detective almost. Searching for clues the market's totally overlooking. 100%. And speaking of smart sleuthing, you know Graham's definition of an intelligent investor, right? right. <laughs> Lay it on me. The intelligent investor is a realist who sells to optimists and buys from pessimists. Okay, I get the general concept. But how do you actually spot those buy from the pessimist moments mm -hmm. in the real world? Like I was just reading about this tech company, stock totally tanked after some privacy scandal. Everyone was panicking. Is that what Graham's talking about or is there more to it? That's a super insightful question because it highlights the nuance of Graham's thinking. You got to figure out if it's just fear driven selling or if something's actually wrong with the business. Oh, so with your tech company, right? You'd have to ask, is this a temporary blip? Or is their whole business model messed up because of this privacy thing? So it's not just about buying anything that's taken a hit. It's about understanding why. Absolutely. Separate the emotional reaction from the actual analysis. Now, another big thing with Graham is treating investing like a business. Yeah. He said, investing is most intelligent when it is most businesslike. So what's that actually mean in practice? Not just gambling. Here. Right. Think about it like this. If you were opening a bakery, you wouldn't just lease a spot and start baking with no plan. Hopefully not. You'd scope out the market, figure out your costs, your pricing strategy, you'd manage your inventory. Investing needs that same level of thoughtfulness. Okay, so you're saying do your homework, folks. Uh-huh, exactly. And part of that homework is like understanding and managing risk. Totally. And Graham was very real about that. He said, losing some money is an inevitable part of investing and there's nothing you can do to prevent it. But to be an intelligent investor, you must take responsibility for ensuring that you never lose most or all of your money. Whoa, right. It's about taking ownership. You can't control the market, but you can control how you react to it. So true. And a big part of that is not putting all your eggs in one basket. Right, oh. diversification, super mm. important. Absolutely. Now, Graham also had a really interesting take on measuring success, didn't he? Not just about beating the market. Yeah, it was more about setting your own goals, having yeah. the discipline to stick to your plan. That's a big one. Right, because so many people get trapped in comparing themselves to others, you know, constantly checking how their portfolio is doing against some benchmark. And then they make all these rash decisions. Exactly, their whole strategy goes out the window. It's like they're trying to win a race without even knowing where the finish line is. Love that analogy. Right. So before you even start, you got to ask yourself, what am I actually trying to achieve with my investments? What are my financial goals? What's my time frame? How much risk can I actually stomach? OK, so to sum all this up, what are the biggest takeaways we want listeners to walk away with today? Let's see. Think long term, do your research, understand value, manage your risk, and probably most importantly, define what success means to you. Don't just follow the crowd. Those are some solid Graham approved principles. They've stood the test of time for a reason. And here's one final thought to chew on. The best way to measure your investing success is not by whether you're beating the market, but by whether you've put in place a financial plan and a behavioral discipline that are likely to get you where you want to go. So good. It's about the journey, not just the destination. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks for diving deep with me. Anytime. Always happy to talk Graham. All right, folks, that's a wrap for today. Now go forth and invest intelligently. And remember, patience is key.
See you next time. Bye, everyone.